State parks are opening in western North Carolina more than a month now after Helene hit. Elk Knob, Lake James, New River and Stone Mountain partially reopened today. Mount Jefferson is expected to reopen before the end of the month. Chimney Rock, Mount Mitchell and South Mountains will be closed for much longer. You can find an interactive map showing what's closed and what's open on our website WRAL.com. The holiday season almost here. For some, it's already here. The Christmas tree farmers in western North Carolina are facing an uphill battle after Helene caused widespread flooding and devastation. WRL's Liz McLaughlin visited in one of the hardest hit areas to see how farmers are recovering and how you can help. Christmas tree farmers like Larry Smith in Newland are facing what could be their toughest season yet. And to see the damage even a month afterwards still, it's just, it's almost mind boggling. More than 250,000 trees were lost in Avery County alone after Hurricane Helene. And it's sort of one of the economic backbones of this area. The Christmas tree industry, second only to tourism, was hit hard with mudslides and flooding, destroying trees, equipment and vehicles. I've had that truck longer than I had my wife's. <laughs> Buildings and bridges crumbled. Vital roads washed away. The landscape of Western North Carolina has changed forever. I mean, it'll never be the same in my lifetime. It's Leaving farmers to carve out makeshift roots to move trees. Despite the destruction, Smith tells me the harvest will go on. If you're a farmer, you don't quit. <laughs> you just go on to the next season. Smith, a seasoned grower, is no stranger to challenges. He's been in the business since 1977, and in 2018, he supplied the official White House Christmas tree, an honor that brought him face to face with then President Donald Trump. So that was pretty cool. Most, most of my friends say that that's not me because I'm in a suit and tie. Suit. This year, farms across Western North Carolina are distributing Fraser furs nationwide with choose and cut lots open and ready for business. I've been amazed at how many people have told me that they have an artificial tree and they've never had a real tree. And they're gonna buy a real tree this year. For these farmers, it's not just about Christmas, it's about community. Liz McLaughlin. As Liz McLaughlin, I'm just thinking about that the man's final words in that piece, just unbelievable. You see the emotion there. The outpouring of support that they have seen has even led to Larry Smith going viral on TikTok. We have a list of uh, choose and cut farms that you can check out. Other ways to help Western North Carolina with this story at WRAL.com.